Don't go anywhere. We've got the heavyweight matchup of Yaroslav Slavikowski for the Crimson, who's coming off a victory earlier today. The senior from Belarus was watching his bout earlier against Binghamton. Just a huge force, especially coming off injury, too. He is a lot of fun. That'll be our nightcap this evening. Right now, we've got Peter Ferraro and Jonathan Lowe. Weren't sure if it was going to be Jonathan Lowe or Ethan Hatcher for Cornell. It was Lowe who got the call earlier today at Brown. Earned a pin just less than two minutes into this first round. Only pin so far today has come with Trevor Tarsi. He's really the only reason that the Crimson are within striking distance at this point. Ferraro, the senior for the Crimson, has been wrestling at 184, a senior from St. Charles, Illinois. Only his fourth bout of the season. A one and two record, strong move there as he gets on top of the big red man. Earns the takedown, a couple of quick points as he tumbles on over. Strong work though to counter straight back and oh earns the reversal and puts Ferraro back down. Right towards the exterior. Perhaps you're still letting him go. Not it up at two. This is already longer than Lowe had wrestled yesterday. Or, excuse me, earlier this afternoon. He only went two minutes. That's all he needed for the pin. Left leg for Lowe still in bounds. And now he slots on out. Let's see if Ferraro can earn a quick escape or, or something to get up on the board. Then he gets forced onto his stomach. Left elbow down, now tucked in behind. Ferraro didn't actually see action last year, so this being his fourth bout of the season, says maybe even a little bit more and of course in 2021 2020 that season canceled due to covid pandemic with no ivy league competition so really this is the the first stretch that ferraro is seeing any sort of consistency on the map locked up in a tie at the moment with low he does have the riding time now up over a minute. With five seconds to go in the first period. It's going to be low that starts... Going down and Ferraro will start to come to some of that riding time. See if he can tilt the tides a little bit. That's a strong job from Lowe though to get back up to his feet. Earns an escape point. goes for the legs. Ferraro being twirled all the way around. Just hanging out of bounds. 
takedown. That moves low in really strong position now. Up by three in this second period. And you'd have to think if Cornell can pick up points from this bout, of course, with a seven, 16 to nine entry point into the 184s, that's going to move them well on their way, even with a possible advantage for the Crimson at the heavyweight level. Big slam down to the mat there as Ferraro's body goes bouncing off. Both sides barking out instructions as Ferraro just grapples for anything to get free. And they'll get pointed back to reset. Told you what's upcoming for Cornell. Meanwhile, the Crimson, this being their first Ivy League action so far this season, only their second technical match. They hit the road as well for a couple of duels next weekend. All EIWA, all the rest of the way until the championships to come in March. But next weekend, it's a trip to Jersey, take on Princeton. That's at Friday night. And Saturday, January 28th, UPenn. So Harvard gets to start off the season at home. Fell to UNC last weekend, and looks like they might be 0-3 as they hit the road next weekend. Jonathan Lowe, the number six man at the 184 marker. One of the many ranked wrestlers on this Cornell side. He doesn't seem phased at all by anything that Ferraro's throwing at him. He's up 7-2. Make it 8-2 with the riding time and a possibility, truly, to even tack on more points with a major decision, possibly, to come here in the third. really just getting his feet wet this season and he has to go against a top 10 wrestler and just his fourth look of the season he's had some strong moments though especially towards the exterior and it seems like dealing with a little bit of a height disadvantage strong move from low look at how quickly he went right for the legs Earns the takedown and gets him into the territory for a possible major decision. Ferraro's escape earns his third point, though. This has gotten much more physical in this last minute. And that's a powerful finishing move from Lowe to get the pin, finish off Ferraro with ease. He just kept building and building. That was very technical. Exceptional work from Jonathan Lowe. Puts this just about 